And our Coco McAvoy's live at LAX, where one person, Coco, was taken into custody, two were injured. Yes, that is correct. And things are starting to return to normal here at LAX following the chaos after the report of a person with a gun in Terminal 1. And police say there was never a threat to anyone's life. No gun was recovered. No shots were fired. But when word of mouth spread, it created hysteria. Take a look at this cell phone video here. This is the scene that unfolded at Southwest Terminal 1. About 300 people evacuated themselves and rushed the tarmac, walking around a South Southwest airplane trying to get out of the area where they believed there was a person with a gun. Because of the safety and security concern, the FAA decided to shut down the north side runways and ground the flights as security corralled people who went onto the tarmac. The public information officer says this all started as an altercation between two people. Take a listen. There was a conflict or discussion between two people. One of the uh, persons felt that uh, they were being chased by a man with a weapon and ran into Terminal 1 saying, uh, they're chasing me uh, with a gun or something to that effect. That message spread throughout the terminal and caused people to run. We talked to one passenger who started running herself. Take a listen to what she experienced. And all of a sudden, people started whipping around the corner, just running with, like, fear and terror in their eyes. And I was like, what's happening? What's going on? And they were like, there's an active shooter. And I was like, what? So I packed up all my stuff and just grabbed everything. Alarms started going off. And then I just ran where everybody was going. And airport police responded, and one person is in custody as they continue interviewing and investigating. And that passenger we spoke to said that security officers were telling everyone to line up against the wall to remain safe as they waited for more information about when things would return to normal. But as she described, there was a lot of fear out here as people were not sure what was going on. But again, it's important to emphasize that there was never a threat to anyone's life out here. No gun was recovered, no shots fired. However, we do know that two people did suffer minor injuries, and police tell us that happened as people were running. One person, for example, ended up getting injured as they were going down the stairs trying to self-evacuate. So the investigation continues out here as police try to determine how this all unfolded. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News. Mm, very scary, Coco. Thank you.